Hi YouTube, it's JR. Wanted to give you an update on my gasifier. I cleaned out the media filter and also the charcoal out of the bottom of the main uh, burner unit. Wanted to show you what that looked like. Um, basically, here's the charcoal that I pulled out of there. This is all that I got um, after shaking it completely out. And I left, and I'm not sure if you can see in there, but I left just enough in there, way down at the bottom. Um, to light once I start it up again. Um, but this is all that I pulled out. You can see there's a lot of unburned chunks. That's from when I started. I originally started my gasifier um, and they got shaken down through the grate. Um, but it really does just produce real charcoal. I have, uh, I have some of the charcoal lit right there. It's putting out some heat. This is the media that's in my filter. It's just uh, sawdust. You can see this was, I took it out as it sat in my filter. So the cleanest was on top. Gets down to kind of dirty, kind of brownish. That's my grate. And then that was some of the stuff that had fallen down below and soaked up a lot of the uh, moisture and everything that was in there. This is what the inside of my filter looks like. I have an angle iron on all four sides welded to support that grate above that inlet pipe. And that's basically it. And I'll uh, put in some new sawdust in there so we can uh, get it all back together and get it ready to fire up again. Alright, so now I have everything cleaned out. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my grate back in. And then fill it up with, uh, it's literally just the stuff you fill up your hamster or... Uh, guinea pig cage with just this pine bedding stuff and one of these small bags is perfect for the size of this box once you break it all up and kinda spread it around inside there it fills it up just perfect now I'm sure if you were trying to uh, be a little smarter than I am as far as uh, using uh, materials that are more readily available to you. Uh, I know, for instance, for myself, there's a couple of baseball bat companies that are nearby. And they advertise all the time that they have sawdust. They produce six to 800 pounds of sawdust every uh, week. So if you were able to find something like that, that you're able to get some, some good uh, shavings or sawdust from, um, that'd be a perfect perfect use for uh, using in your filter so there you go so you can see it uh, comes up to about two inches or so from the top and that's perfect for once I set my my lid on here on this filter and we got some brand new filter media